I was always interested in airplanes, and I thought I could be a pilot. He hasn't flown professionally in more than 75 years. That's my favorite aircraft. See how pretty it is? But Dominic Diadamo still admires the wild blue yonder. The job was so important to me, and I just wanted to make sure that I did it right. The 100-year-old Richmonder who grew up on Hanover Avenue. Well, these are my two brothers, and that's me. This is my mother. Earned his wings the most white-knuckle way possible. My job was uh, dropping the bombs. As a bombardier. Up front here, right in the nose. Mr. Diadamo had a front-row seat in a B-24 Liberator. But we had fighter planes coming at us. You could see the tracer bullets from <laughs> Plexiglass is all that separated the 22-year-old from the enemy. And I never saw so much flack in all my life. And it knocked out two or three panels on the nose where I was. <laughs> Captain Diadamo flew 22 missions during the war. None more harrowing than the infamous Ploesti raid. The, the chimneys would. 212 feet tall, so they wanted us to go in at 250 feet, so we wouldn't hit those. 177 B-24s roared over Romania on August 1st, 1943. The target, massive refineries. Well, that was Hitler's main source of oil. Every pilot ordered to fly at dangerous altitudes. We could feel it sometimes scraping the trees, you know. We got so low. When the bombing run was over, more than 50 B-24s and about 500 of Mr. Diadamo's fellow airmen were lost. It hit us hard. Anytime you lost a crew, it hit you hard. He lived through one of World War II's most daring missions. That's me. We were flying... Uh, flying through the Strait of Gibraltar. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. This Veterans Day, people are not forgetting his sacrifice. And I thank you. Well, thank you, That's sir. very generous to do this. Well, it's your day. His hospice sir. nurses pay tribute. And I appreciate it. We appreciate you. To a humble and grateful man, Dominic Diadamo. This is me. An airman still soaring high at 100. I, I don't call it luck. I think I was blessed. For some reason, I, I was blessed. Well, I, I've been blessed all my life, really. I've had a wonderful life. Mr. Diadamo celebrated his 100th birthday with family and friends at his home in the West End a couple of weeks ago. The Virginia Senate passed a resolution in February thanking Mr. Diadamo for his service to the Commonwealth and the nation during World War II. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.